Yo, what up guys? CGB checking in and still in Thailand, so can't play any games with you today, but I spent a good amount of yesterday watching the Pro Tour and just wanted to make a quick video talking about it. Uh, a, some So kind of a quick recap of what I saw for those of you who missed it or maybe you're watching along too, just want to get my take. And uh, yo, lots of vehicles. Vehicles everywhere. Vehicle, 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 vehicle. Uh, Heart of Kieran, apparently, I mean, I even heard some people say it's as good as Smuggler's Copter, maybe better than Smuggler's Copter. It hits harder, so it's a faster clock, and they said that was important because the format got faster because of the turn four combo kills and things like that. So Heart of Kieran, freaking everywhere. Unlicensed Disintegration doing everything I thought it might for aggro, saving a aggro's bacon. Kill that thing, burn that thing, win the game. It's pretty much how it went, how it felt like it went game after game. A lot of Mardu vehicles, and uh, that's what's been on camera. Not a lot of different stuff, not a lot of things other than what was expected. Uh, a few harvesters, not as many harvesters as I expected, but plenty of black green too. Plenty of winding constrictors. Big, the world is a big fan of Winding Constrictors, and a lot of the two drops. So I knew that Grim Flare and Winding Constrictor and Walking Ballista would probably get played a lot, but I also saw Sylvan Advocates and Gifted Aetherborns and Glint Sleeve Siphoners. It's like, if you maxed out on all those in Standard, you'd have like 21 drops. But in uh, Duels, you can max that out and have just a great assortment of, uh, I said one drops, great assortment of two two drops. And so, like, you can play two Sylvan Advocates, you can play two Glint Sleeves, you can play no Grim Flares, because that's the way it works. And then you can uh, get in your Aetherborns, and your Walking Ballistas, and your Winding Constrictors, and you've just got so many awesome two drops. It's just kind of nuts that Black Green can have that much going on in the spot. So, that's been interesting to see. That's been fun. Uh, haven't seen many of the copycat combo kills. In fact, I think we saw like two or three of them. Is that because they're just keeping it off camera because they know you're going to see a lot of it today and probably in the top eight? Or, uh, you know, it's, so instead they're like, vehicle smashing vehicles. Vehicle. Vehicle. Boom. <laughs> yeah, stuff like that. And um, what... What else is uh, going on? So, you know, I made the video thinking I'd talk about this. Yeah, I'm going to talk about this. Um, if you haven't seen it, in round, I think it's the second to last round. So round seven, I believe. Standard. And a player from, I believe, the USA is playing against a player from Portugal. And what happens is the player from Portugal plays the uh, names of cards. It's, it's black, red. It is in duels. It's black, red, and one for a 3-3. Three, three. And when, it, when at the beginning of your combat, combat step, target artifact creature gets plus 2, plus 0 until end of turn. I want to say Wildfast Engineer? Anyway, uh, he plays this card. He has a Heart of the Kirin and two scrap heap scroungers and he says combat and then he goes like he's going to trigger his well fast engineer and use it on heart of kieran like crew heart of kieran okay his opponent quite quickly and this is the part that i think the judges didn't catch that everybody uh on stream did catch is the opponent like almost quickly just like was like uh <laughs> like, uh, you missed your trigger, or you missed it, or stop, and, like, called a judge. It was like, because what you're supposed to say is beginning of combat, not combat. All right. And so the ruling from the judges became, uh, he missed the trigger, so nothing gets the plus two, plus O, oh, and he can't crew his Heart of Curin because he's supposed to crew his vehicles before beginning of combat. Yeah. So if you don't play Paper Magic often, this probably all sounds really weird. And this is one thing about duels that I really like, that it solves something pretty important in the game, where players have to communicate and use, for the most part, uh, you know, native language if they're both native, but English language at high-level events, to communicate with what is happening and where you're at in the game. Duel solves that. It's got the little timer. It pushes through the phases. 
Um, Magic Online solves that even better with more phases and places that you can stop and hold priorities, things like that. The rules in paper get pretty complicated, but there is very uh, specific language that needs to be used or agreed upon for certain phases of the game. So this ruling uh, cost this player the game. It was really, he got dramatic in the Twitch chat. It got like, like people were uh, throwing a whole bunch of hate slang around and getting and just really freaking mad and they pretty much rallied behind the player who they say got scummed which is if you haven't heard it it's a term for when a magic player like uses the rules in an unfair way to take advantage of you or kind of uh, sucker you out of a game even though your intent was pretty clear i mean the player said combat and pointed to his engineer like he was going to use the trigger and the other player immediately jumped on it like no you missed that trigger you can't have that trigger and if 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 you watch the video it does look it looks bad it looks it looks like the guy was pretty much leaping out of his seat to say i got you you can't have that trigger now uh chat was just freaking on fire angry about it going going off the rails in my opinion and it didn't stop didn't stop for the rest of the day, pretty much. Not even into, not even into the next round and the daily wrap. It was still a big topic of conversation. A lot of hate speech, and I just I guess I gotta get my opinion out there on it because I've been I've I've honestly been on both sides of this, and uh, I don't want to tell any long stories. But I, um, in, in terms of using scum, scumming or rules lawyering is another term, I've had very, very good players, better than I, uh, Pro Tour champions and a Hall of Famer, in fact, that I have played against. And they have scummed me. They have said, you did that wrong, so you don't get this trigger, or you said this, and that means this, when that wasn't my intent, not what I was trying to do. They call the judge, they get their way. Um... That was, like, players did this to each other every single game, all the time in the 90s and the early 2000s. That was the way the game worked. The players who knew the judges, knew exactly what language to use and how to talk to the judges, they won games that they shouldn't win because they rules lawyered their way through it. That is the absolute truth. And you know what? I learned how to do it, and I actually did it. I've been on the other side, and I did it to another player. And I I would like to say I only did it once, because I remember it. I remember it a lot. And I won the ruling, and I won the game because I did it, and I felt absolutely horrible. I still feel horrible about it today. It was a nasty thing to do. And I thought I could do it because it had been done to me one round prior by a much more experienced player. And... Um, <laughs> <laughs> a player who many of you would know if I said his name. He's a content producer, and now he tries to keep a clean reputation, but he absolutely took a dump on me in this in U.S. Nationals in uh, 2004, I think it was. And uh, he really got me, and I did the exact same thing the next game to another player because I thought that was what you had to do, and I won that game. But I've never felt good about it. I haven't felt good about it ever since. I don't think I've ever done it again. I hate seeing it happen. It's it's bad for the game. It shouldn't be done. It shouldn't happen. I, that's what the Twitch chat was all crazy about. But at the same time, I know how it can happen when somebody is playing for high stakes magic and they think that winning is everything. So uh, I've got some sympathy on both sides. And if you're curious about how the story ends, the player who uh, got told that they missed their trigger, the player who got... Uh, scummed so to speak they lost that game by two life <laughs> obviously because of that missed trigger but they won that match they won the next two games and they took the match so if you are a person who considers that justice it was in fact served all right i'm really excited to watch uh, more pro tour coverage today it'll be starting up in probably about three and a half hours Hopefully you can check out this video. Maybe you like it, maybe you don't. Don't worry, I'll be back with Duels gameplay near the end of next week. So that isn't over with my stretch of the imagination. Hope to see some of you on the Twitch chat, and uh, I'll see you around.